Hey, it's package day and guess what? We got food for our soul and I'm super excited to try it with you guys. Some of my favorites came in the mail today and I can't wait to share. It's a coconut rice and Cuban black bean. I love that and also my ultimate favorite, biscuits and mushroom gravy. You guys, we're gonna try that out today. Biscuits and gravy are my favorite, so I'm excited to try their variation of that. Here we go. First important thing to do with these is you're gonna go ahead and separate the biscuits from the mixture part, which that way you can keep your biscuits nice and, nice and crunchy. So anyways, they come in this separate little mini bag here, so we're gonna separate that, and then we're gonna take two quarters of a cup of boiling water, you know, while I'm up in the hill, I'm not gonna have a microwave, but my water's in the microwave. Sorry, I'm cheating for today, but you know, that's okay. So when we're in the hills, we're gonna boil it with my little mini stove, and I'm excited to try this. Let's try it. Oh, this smells good. Can we talk about these biscuits? I took them out really quick because I wanted to take some close-up pictures of them because they're beautiful and they taste absolutely gorgeously amazing and without even being hydrated, rehydrated. Uh, you can tell how homemade they are and honestly that is like the fun part about it. Um, I love this biscuit, so cool. And let's talk about the mushrooms that are in this too. How awesome is that? There's actual mushrooms in there and I think that is like the fun part. It tastes really good. I'm really excited to really see how this rehydrates. I don't know, I'll just eat this right here like this. Oh. So you're gonna take your hot boiling water and you're gonna put it into your rehydrating pouch. This is your pouch, you can use this the whole time. That's one thing I love about it is that you have a spot to just do all one kind of thing. Um, you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna separate those biscuits from your pouch so that we can keep your biscuits nice and you know, like tender, whatever, whatever you want to call them. You want to keep them crunchy. I don't know. Three quarters of a cup of boiling water. We're going to pour it right into your pouch. And then after you get that in there, really important, you want to seal it up really good. Now, if you wanted to, you could have throw your jacket on it after you get done the kneading this. Um, you can throw it into its own little pouch. You can sell little pouches to cover it so you can keep the heat going, especially if you're in a colder climate. Um, but you're gonna have to squish all that out of there. I like to squish a lot of air out so that I can get the meatiness. We wanna really knead this um, all over so that way it gets all the ingredients super soaky wet and super moist. <laughs> it's gonna be super warm, so watch yourself. It's gonna be warm, it's gonna be super warm. But you wanna let this sit for about five to six minutes. The instructions said that's about what they wanted to do, so every company is about different, but um, we're gonna let this, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. That's like the hard part is waiting for all the yumminess to. Well, since we're waiting for my little mushroom gravy to get rehydrated, we might as well pour us a cup of coffee. Or in this case, cup of four cups now, because that's what it takes to our life. Coffee. Ooh, good stuff. After the wait is over and you have been letting it marinate and rehydrate in this pack for about five to six minutes, you're going to go ahead and put in your biscuits. I love knowing that my biscuits are homemade. So depending on how you want your biscuits. Now if you want them to be super rehydrated or if you want them to be more crunchy, you're going to adjust that time that you're gonna allow them to sit. But I'm gonna go ahead and do what they had asked on, the, on here. It's about, um, about four to seven more minutes more after you let this sit. So these are gonna get a little bit rehydrated and um, you're gonna crunch it up and it'll kind of soak in all the and the juices that are in there, the mushroom juice, the, the gravy, the, mus the moist mushroom juice. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna let that set for a little bit longer. You're gonna cinch this up a little bit. You have your own little kind of little thingamajigger here. Give it a little stir so that all the juices get into all the biscuits. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and I hope, uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I just, I'm hoping that it's for the best. You never know. No. Okay, now that it's rehydrated, we're gonna go ahead and try this out. It smells so good. It smells so good. I love mushrooms, and if you love mushrooms, I think you're gonna love this one. It is incredible. The biscuits look super crunchy, which I'm really glad for because I love that. Mm. If you wanted to, you could break these up. I'm just like poking them here. I'm poking it. So good. 
I'm gonna sit here and just mount on on this while you watch me eat it. This is so good. It looks crunchy. Mm. Now if you didn't want them crunchy, you're just gonna let them sit here a little bit longer. I'm at that five minutes. Yeah, about well, five minutes in. Definitely to let it sit a little longer, but I'm impatient and uh, I'm, you can just sit here and smell the aroma coming from this bag. And I like my biscuits crunchy. The gravy is so good. So good. Now, if you didn't want to eat all of this and you just wanted to zip it back up, you could. Mm hmm. <laughs> but when I'm, when I'm out there and I'm bored and I'm hungry, I'm going to sit here and eat this whole damn thing. I'm going to eat the whole damn thing. Those mushrooms are super delish. This flavor is incredible. I just love everything about this, and I love that there's actual mushrooms in here. Can you eat it off the bag like that? I want to do a happy dance. Look, this biscuits and mushroom gravy. That's life. That. Oh my god. And the fun thing about this, you guys, is knowing that it is made by a mom and son duo, like that they did this because they really wanted to have the food up and know where the food was coming from. And for all those vegans out there and gluten-free people, this is uh, this is gluten-free and vegan-free. So if you are honestly looking for something that you can have in your pack too, feel free to. I'm one of those girls that like, even though I love meat, <laughs> I still love the crap out of this because it tastes incredible. I feel like, honestly, it tastes like I'm eating a whole darn thing of sausage. Did you eat that? <laughs> mm. It's still, it's all finger looking good. I'm over here, like literally, I need a longer spoon. Mmm. <laughs> so good. If you want more information on this, make sure you head over to my website, dinatheempowermenthunter.com. I will have a whole blog on this. You guys can find the link. You guys, make sure you use my uh, promo code for this. You will love it. You guys want to know more about Food For Your Soul? You guys head over to my website, Dina, the Empowerment Hunter. You guys will find the link to, directly to them. Enjoy.